All right guys, I've been waiting about two hours for these trades to finally start coming together and right now I'm up about $600 on two different trades looking to make right around $1,000 on the day. We're gonna go to Alex's house, we're gonna get a swim in, we're gonna jump rope and then I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna run you through all the trades I took. Actually, what do you say we bang on some uh, sit-ups first? This is the lifestyle of a day trader. Another pro of day trading is you get to work out while you're at work. Got a little work in there, fam. I was just working on music for now, but I'm gonna go outside and hit a workout out near the pool. Should be fun. Feeding chickens, boy. But I hit some jump rope real quick, and we're gonna do a cinematic sequence with Xandros right here. Yeah. Say what's going on, look at the rig, it's crazy. It's gonna be lit fam. It's gonna be lit fam. We need some kick them pop, pop, pop. Aside from trading, there's only one thing to really, really elevate your mindset, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta, you know, you gotta take the wins with the losses. All right, so we just did that cinematic sequence on the Black Magic Cinema Camera. Compliments of Xandros. I'll link his channel below as well. What do you think the most fire shot that we got is going to be once we like string it all together, and make a sequence? The jump rope shots easily, just because I could hear the audio from the mic and the way that the handheld movement was coming in with the sun. It looked really cool. It's gonna be like, and then we can do a transition right here, and then back out. Okay, and yeah. then it's gonna be fire. Yeah, <laughs> just cut it right there. <laughs> All right, so regarding those trades from earlier, I'm gonna review those trades when we get back home, so stay tuned for that. All right, so I ended up breaking even on the Lulu Lemon trade. It was a zero profit, zero loss, so I'm okay with it. On ACMR, I was able to make $452. I actually had to get out early just because the trading session ended and I don't like to swing trade things overnight. So I actually took it off early, but still $452 on the day while going and jumping rope and having fun as well. <laughs> Not a bad deal at all. So I'm gonna run you through exactly what I did with this trade. I'm gonna show you where I got in, where I got out. Actually, it was a perfect exit. I couldn't have waited for a more perfect time on this one. So if you look right here, I was able to grab 120 shares right here at 87.20. So I took 120 shares long, which means I bought them and wanted the shares price to go up. The share price went up and I was able to get out just below $91. The reason I did this is because of something called magging. So magging is when stocks will usually hit a benchmark number and then reverse as soon as it hits the benchmark number because a lot of people's profit targets are at that benchmark. So what I like to do, and this is a good little tip for you when you're looking to put your profit target somewhere, try to get slightly below the whole number that you're looking to get to as a profit target just to ensure that the bid will get there so that you can get out of the position. So I was actually able to get out three cents below $91 and I was able to make 452 on this trade. Not a bad trade at all. I will certainly take that for the day. I hope you enjoyed this sort of day trading lifestyle vlog. Um, make sure you throw a subscribe, throw a like. As always, come to me with questions if you have any. I am literally here to help you learn how to day trade. I will put my Instagram in the bio. Also, feel free to message me right on YouTube as well. I hope you enjoyed this video once again, and I will see you all in the next video.